Nation, what's going on? How you guys feeling out there today? Hoping you guys are doing okay. I want to jump right into it. Let's just get on it. Let's just not even wait. Let's just dump face in this shit. I want to talk about a disturbed man, mentally ill. He was um, causing a scene, I guess, lurching in an area, and the police didn't like it. He was fucking with a crowd or whatnot. I guess it was a homeless man who had mental health issues. The police told him to freeze or whatever. I don't know what they told him. You know, I don't. I can't say exactly what they told this man because I think he's getting railroaded in this situation he's in. And I guess he was told to, you know, put his hands up or whatever. He put his hands in his pocket or something like that. Police opened fire, missed the man when they were shooting him, which is ironic. I don't know the police missing, especially when they're shooting at a black motherfucker. They usually cap his ass. They missed him and shot some innocent bystanders in the area. And guess what? This mentally challenged man who probably, you know, didn't understand what was going on or was in his own world just like mentally challenged people usually are is getting charged for the damage that's caused against the people that the police did. Now last time I checked and last time I was hurt, I heard police are trained. They are trained, skilled officers to hit targets. You know, when you shoot your gun, you should not shoot your gun unless you plan on hitting your target. You don't just shoot the motherfucker because it's loud, because it's black, because you think you got a reason. You don't just shoot that gun for no reason because it hurts people. Okay? If you plan on hurting somebody, so be it. If you're a police officer, if you feel like they're, they're going to hurt you. But I don't understand how you shot at this motherfucker and then shot a few people over there. And I understand innocent bystanders. We know that. But we also do know that you got to go to college. You got to complete these courses. You got to complete these training classes to be a police officer. So I don't understand how you shot two people, you know. You shoot me, you just shot two people, but not your target. I don't get it. Oh, and let's blame him. Let's blame the mentally challenged guy because we're getting sick and tired of our police stations getting sued because of people fucking up. You know, I'm not buying that right there. I think it's wrong. I think it's foul. Now, should he be in jail or whatever? Yeah, it's a, it's another way around it. I don't think he should be charged with these people being harmed. I know some of you guys are going to disagree with me, but at the end of the day, okay, you are trained as a professional, as a basketball player. You are trained to shoot the ball in the hoop. You're not trained to shoot the ball at players in the stands and all that. Okay, now we got some guys who do shoot those jump shots up and it might air ball and it might go out of bounds. Now, guess what? They really don't get in the fucking game, all right? They're not there in the big moments, okay? Now, if you're going to draw your gun out, you got to know what you're doing. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to say about this situation here. Do accidents happen? Yes, they do. And is all police fucked up? No, they're not. So don't walk around here thinking that all the police officers are out to get you. But the one that the one or two or whoever shot those innocent bystanders, I think that they should be dealing with that. I'm not saying that they should probably go to jail and face that, but they should face the music. Man, this dude is mentally challenged. You can put him in jail because an apple got rotten. You think he would know the fucking difference? Probably. Probably not. You know, I just think it's foul for them to try to focus the blame and put the blame on somebody other than themselves. We gotta accept responsibility. You know, that's the world we live in. Once we start accepting responsibility, it'd probably be a better place to live in. But yet and still, people like to focus their issues and their troubles on the next person, and that's why we're in a situation like this. Links in the description box. Read about yourself. Uh, read about it yourself. I'm sorry. Um, leave your comments. You can agree and disagree. Tell me how you feel. I'm just telling you how I feel. I'm the one with the big balls who got the camera and who gonna voice how I feel. You not gonna do it? At least put it in the comment box baby or video responses accepted subscribe to the channel follow me on twitter share this with your friends and family until next time deuces